The third stage of the Amgen Tour of California taking the riders away from Auburn to Modesto. 122 miles or 196 kilometers in the yellow jersey, young Ben Swift, the 23-year-old British rider of a Team Sky. For most of the day, a breakaway was leading the way. A group of seven riders getting clear in the first mile while Tor Hushoff, the world champion, chats with Tour de France runner-up Andy Schleck. Yeah, the breakaway of seven riders built themselves a maximum advantage of six minutes and 40 seconds at one stage, but once they started to get to those astronomical gaps, the main field started to take much more of an interest and started to pull them back into the fold. There were no mountains to worry about on what was a predominantly flat stage, just a few feet above sea level all of the way, but there was great concern about the cross and headwind, which were blowing very strongly. The strong men were at the front, rapidly closing down on the leaders. And soon it was inside two minutes with 35 kilometres to go for the sprint in Oakdale, where Christian Meyer just took it out ahead of Michael Creed. But this was the point chosen for Jan Barter to make an attack and try and go clear with Andy Jacksmain. Two well, riders remained up front. Well, he saw this at 35 kilometres to go with a chance to create a little bit of co co confusion at the front end of the main field. And at 1 minute and 50 seconds advantage, these two riders thought they might just outwit the sprinters, but not on a day like this and not on a run-in like this with the crosswinds that were going to batter the riders over the last few kilometres. The field were being driven by members of Team Sky and they were now into a serious crosswind here as the peloton was starting to fragment. There was still a vague hope of success in the mind of Andy Jacksmain and also of Jan Barter of the Czech Republic, but the time gap was continually coming down. There were only two riders left out front now. And at 25 kilometres to go, it was down to one and a half minutes. And the teams of the sprinters taking a serious interest in the pacemaking at the front end of the pack. They knew they wanted to have their chance once this race came to Modesto and faced up to two circuits around the city. 24 kilometres out, or 15 miles from the finish, there were signs of agony on the faces of these two riders. After all, they'd led the race literally from the first two kilometres of the day. The crosswinds were now damaging the big peloton as well. Weaker riders were being left behind. Caught at the back too, the likes of Andy Schleck and Tor Hushoft. Team Sky were creating the pain, hoping to set up Ben Swift, the winner yesterday in Sacramento, to win again in Modesto. But on the outskirts of town, with just a few seconds advantage over the front end of the main field, Jan Barter decided he would once again try and go it alone. But it was all really just deferring the inevitable because the main field were going to have their day on a day like this and the teams of the sprinters were waiting just to see how much they could split up the race on the running towards the finish because the danger was the wind on this occasion. Something like 35 riders are now in the strong end of the peloton with a lot of riders spread across the road. Their only saviour would be a left turn that would bring the race largely back together. Team Sky were riding on a high, sweeping up Jan Barter. It was now down to the sprinters as they raced at 50 kilometres an hour into the streets of Modesto. Yeah, but some big names got caught out. Tor Hushoft and, of course, Andy Schleck, who was looking to try and win this bike race overall. And as you mentioned, that left-hand turn brought the whole of the race back together but I think one or two riders were a little bit concerned for a while so slowly but surely the majority of the 144 riders were getting themselves back into the action before we reached the two small finishing circuits in Modesto Schleck rejoining here with the world champion Tor Hushoft it was the Velic twins who were driving at the front for HTC High Road hoping to set up the finish for Matthew Goss the yellow jersey of Ben Swift, he was looking to his Sky team to guide him to the finish as well. But the circuit was fast, furious and very dangerous. Riders were falling all over the place. Down here was Jens Voigt, who was left to limp in at the back of the field. This didn't have any effect on the pacemaking at the front end of the peloton, though, because all of the teams of the sprinters were very happy to keep it nice and high, and more and more riders went down. Jens Voigt going down extremely hard. He did get up and finish the stage, but he certainly was shaken about quite a bit. It, but it takes a lot to keep a man like Jens Voigt from Germany down. Unlucky, but the crash coming outside of the special three-kilometer rule, so Jens was set to lose time on the day while Team Sky was still trying to get their man in yellow over the line first. The lead-outs, and this time it was Baden Cook who got caught in the melee. He was left sitting in the road with no seat left in his pants. 
Well, Team Sky were in complete control as they came inside of the last kilometre of racing and they were on the front end of the main field, but then they were down to one and Greg Henderson, the Kiwi, thought he was leading out his own teammate, Ben Swift, but Swifty was nowhere in sight. No, he'd missed position. He's in the yellow jersey far left. It was too late to make a dash for the line now, so Greg Henderson had to go alone and take his 50th victory of his career as he drove up to the line. A win for Team Sky, their second in as many days, and the yellow jersey would now cross from his teammate Ben Swift over to Greg Henderson because they were equal on points and equal on time. Countback said he was the last man to win a stage of the race. He gets to wear yellow tomorrow. In second place, JJ Haido of Saxo Bank, and third over the line, Tor Hushoft, the world champion. Great opening uh, two days at the Amgen Tour of California for Team Sky and tying for the top position, Greg Henderson and Ben Swift. But tomorrow it's going to be a different ball game because the race starts to tilt up towards the mountains. Yes, indeed. Tomorrow we go over Mount Hamilton and we finish on the Sierra Road and we likely see a complete shake-up overall. But for the moment, this is the situation. This is the stage result, actually. Henderson, Hayedo, Hushoft, Peter Sagan and Howard. Henderson equal first on yellow with Ben Swift.